last night and now waking up to it I'm like this feels so good I'm honestly yeah, I'm very impressed with myself last night I literally took down pretty much everything and just started all over things were getting misplaced and i felt like i had like no more space so i decluttered everything and now i can only wish that i can keep it this way we are being productive this year it's been gloomy for the past week and a half I have not seen the sun so i'm just trying to do what i can to stay organized stay productive and cheer myself up honestly I'm going to do my hair today making it a little bit lighter just finished the hair I love it so much. It's gonna fade a little bit. Right now it's a little dark. I'm in like the Chinatown area, so I thought I would get some food. Um, there's this place called Cha Chan Tam, which is like somewhere that I've been to since college. And it's just like comfort food, honestly. So I think I'm gonna get something to eat because I am hungry. I just got some pieces from Monica Venator, which if you guys have been watching my videos, you know I'm a huge fan of and have been wearing their pieces for years. They came out with a super pretty heart collection and I love like dainty a little heart for jewelry. So let me show you what I got. This is my new little ear stag, which I think is so fun for February. We have a little diamond heart on like this huggy earring. And then we have this beautiful gold heart stud. Very simple and minimal, but still a little fun. I also got these beautiful heart bracelet, one which is a little diamond heart. And then the other one is three gold hearts, which I think is so adorable and honestly stacked like this is perfect too another part of their hearts collection is this beautiful diamond heart necklace all of monica venator pieces are made with 100 percent recycled 18 karat gold and sterling silver and feature ethically sourced pearls gemstones and diamonds i got another really cute bracelet this one is a pearl one and i actually been looking for more pearl pieces in my collection such a beautiful piece to add to my current jewelry collection i also picked up these beautiful pearl earrings look how classic and stunning these are they are just really a classic piece that I feel like I can keep in my collection forever. I also really love their packaging because they are made with recycled materials. They also have a repair and rewear program to prolong the life of pieces so that you can wear them more and buy less. So I will have all of these Monica Venator pieces linked down below in the description box if you are interested. Love, love, love their pieces and I think they are just classic pieces you'll have for a lifetime. go-to quick easy meal for lunch today this is like a tomato and egg and noodle just like so comforting and it's like what my mom would make me when i was little mm. <laughs> sometimes these like simple easy meals are just the best
kind of doing a journal entry and reflecting on this past month highs and lows and then also what my goals are intentions are for february the sun right now is so strong and it feels so good because i have not really seen sun for the past like two weeks it's been so gloomy in new york anyways I told myself that I was going to start doing this for this year to kind of just set my mind in what I want to do for the following month. And as I'm journaling, I realized that one of the main things I want to do is focus more on things that make me happy and kind of just focusing more on hobbies. I really want to get back into a hobby that I really love. And I think that it is going to be ceramics. Last year, I took a few ceramics classes and I really, really enjoyed it. Actually, I actually use these ceramics that I made this one I use a little jewelry tray and then this one I use for my matches and just seeing like the outcome of these was just so cool to me and I feel like I have a lot to learn from ceramics but it's a very rewarding hobby and I like to like be hands-on with things so I think that is one thing that I'm going to focus on for this month at least try to go into a wheel throwing studio once and trying to do it again so yeah if you want to just kind of follow my simple little prompt honestly it takes like five minutes and i find it to be quite a therapeutic little journal entry prompt to do we're heading to go see some furniture shops today in like Greenpoint and Williamsburg. The first one we're going to is Teak New York. And then I also screenshotted some antique and vintage furniture store. I'm mainly looking for a nightstand, but I'm also trying to find like a console table for the living room. I feel like we've moved in for few months now still haven't gotten a chance to get everything I wanted and we're kind of just building up the apartment much slower which is good I think because we're really finding pieces that we love vintage furniture store right now in Greenpoint. They have so many cool items actually and I love like all the wood furniture. Hopefully we can find something. Um, this nightstand is actually a really nice color that would match our bed frame. A little bit on the bigger side I feel like. This is 20 two and a half so it's over by a little bit yeah i think it's a little too high and our bed frame is around 120. for the corner of the bedroom for like a little plant stand that's nice do you want to get it yeah maybe we need a teapot i like the tea cups on top as well Furniture shopping was a fail. We didn't get anything, but we saw a nightstand, but I think it's a little bit too high. I think it's fine. Okay, well, we're gonna go home and measure it. I liked it, but I don't know. I, I think it's a little big. But anyways, we did end up getting some teapot, a teapot and tea <laughs> teapot and teacups. That's a tongue twister. It's not a tongue twister. They're actually so cute. It was an acre, which we wanted to go in to eat. But then we ended up seeing their ceramics and they're so pretty. Wow! I like it. It seems very good quality too. We got teacups too because we've been actually really enjoying drinking tea. So these are quite nice. I also got this incense cone which I used to use when I was a little. Oh, it smells good. So they're little incense cones. You put it on the dish and then you put this on and you light it. It's too early right now on a Sunday. I'm heading 
heading to Samson's sister's baby shower today. We're going a little bit early because we are helping setting up and we gotta get the cake as well. Picked up the flowers this morning. Also, I am loving the haircut that I got. I just think it's so light and fluffy. And honestly, I feel like it's pretty easy to style as well. Scent for today is the Matcha 26. This has been my recent obsession because I love how fresh and clean it smells. It doesn't smell that much like matcha to me, but there is a little bit of tea, there's incense, there's cedar wood, and I think bitter orange, and it just smells so clean. Also, some of you guys are asking me about perfumes and if I can do kind of like a little collection video or just like talk about it. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. I can definitely do that and show you guys my recent favorite. designing a onesie and she's going to attempt to draw the silhouette of Wait, a Shiba Inu. Wait, this is bad. This is so hard. <laughs> it looks like a cat. <laughs> is this the finished product? Yes. It is uh, be being a good boy in a field of flowers. It's not a field, it's just one big flower. Oh, he is dreaming about a field of flowers. Very nice. Good job, babe. Thank you. 